Hi, we're here tonight at Summit Art Space for the opening of Time Travel, Market Street, circa 1928. I'm with the artist tonight, Don Jeffrey. Hey, Don, how are you doing? Congratulations. Good, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm great. Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to talk to Don about the mural and the exhibition of his sketches and different kinds of drafts that you're able to come and see. It's here from January 5th, which is today, until February 23rd. Don, tell us about the mural. The mural hangs in the corridor at Summit Art Space. I'm gonna let you see it as my viewers, um, and Don will talk a little bit about it. Um, and as you can see at the top, this is the Beacon Journal, right, Don? Tell us a little bit yeah. about the building. So this building was built at, at the end of 1927, opened in 1928, and it, it, it was, uh, the presses were started by Calvin Coolidge, who was the president. He started the presses by teletype from the White House. He pushed a button and started the presses rolling. And this is the first Art Deco building in the city of Akron. And it really was a jewel, uh, I'm sure, in that time period. And uh, so our focus was to uh, draw attention to just the rich history of this building and how great the, the architecture is. And, um, that was such a fun time period with the clothing and the, and the car. So Camilla Fisher, the director of Seminar Space, and I uh, talked uh, at length about doing something to kind of draw attention and honor that. What makes it an Art Deco building? It, I look, see you do a lot of research when you're in, go, getting into a scenery. Well, the style, the terracotta, uh, you know, color of the building, the, uh, the uh, carvings on the on the exterior of the building, like the like the lion, and the uh, the, the sentinel, um, sentinel, uh, which is really um, the uh, god Mercury, who was a messenger of the gods in mythology. That makes sense for a, a newspaper, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So these are four separate panels. The building is, and, and they're done in acrylic and, and pen and ink. And then the, the two side panels are done also in acrylic and pen and ink. And how long did it take you to put them together? Well, it took a couple months to do this, yeah. So, and you were working from photographs? Working from old photographs. Some of them I, I just got from uh, um, the library. And then uh, some of them I got from here, from this building. There's some hanging directly behind you that I used as research. You've been making your name for a name for yourself locally on doing this kind of historical and local storytelling through paintings, uh, right? And you've traveled different places. Like I know Barberton. Where else? Oh, um, Barberton and Cargo Falls, uh, Akron. Um, uh, I've done some in Kent. I've I've done well Ravenna as well. I can't. Um, I just really enjoy uh, seeing the old photographs and kind of bringing them back to life to remind people of what life was like way back then. Or and uh, just the uh, like, it, just as with this building, the great old architecture that exists, uh, especially in downtown Akron here. Um, I just love to draw attention to the. Uh, artwork that is on the outside of these buildings. Yeah, where can, can people find more of your art? So um, I have a Facebook page, Don Jeffrey Studio, and you can see a lot of my samples there. And uh, every now and then you'll see them in shows that are around the area, okay. so. Thanks so much, and uh, we want people to come down and see it. And as long as we're taking a look here at this corridor, across from Don, you can also see there are archival photos of the Beacon Journal. So it's kind of like our, our uh, Beacon Journal corridor. Yeah. Thanks, Don. Thank you. Bye. Bye.